Big boy, big boy on the rails. Hello everybody and welcome back to Old Frail and Decrepit. Today we're going to have a look at Mark's rolling stock made out of plastic. Now starting in 1952, Mark's began producing a lot of, well, in fact most of their rolling stock with plastic. And they did come out with a lot of different things. In fact, for all the rolling stock I have here, I don't even have one of everything. So we'll have just a quick look at that and then we're gonna run some of it and kind of enjoy the, the colors and the different variety of Mark's plastic rolling stock. Now, when I ran these, I used all plastic bodied locomotives. I didn't use any of the same locomotive over even though I've got multiples of some of them. So you'll see the Santa Fe diesels and the uh, Rock Island diesels, which I have multiples of those. I even got to see a Union Pacific switcher. So sit back and enjoy the videos. Well, here we have some examples of some Marks rolling stock. Now this one isn't actually Marks. This was made after Marks was out of business, but it was made with Mark's molds. And if I had some of this four wheel plastic uh, rolling stock, you would see that it matches up perfectly. But this would have been the things that you would have found toward the end of production with Mark's. It was very cheap. Uh, in fact, some of them even went so far as this company did and put in plastic axles and wheels. And of course they're plastic coupler, knuckle coupler. But that would have been the very low end. Now, <clears throat> kind of a step up from that would have been these, I think they call them plug door type box cars, but a little more detail, a little better graphics, nicer trucks and wheels. But these were, you find these in a lot of sets. In fact, this, this Santa Fe set here was even in the Allstate set. But they're very, very common, but they're not, not a bad looking offering. Then of course, you know, they're deluxe with the opening doors. Oh, there's King Frog. And again, they'd have the tilt coupler, the eight wheel, configuration on these and as you can see there's quite a variety of different colors different styles I did notice when I was making this video that I had no plastic gondolas out basically they're just like the they're or very similar to the missile car but they are uh, just a simple gondola. But I had those out at a show to see if I could sell some of them. I never did get any of them back up on the shelf. So you can see there's quite a bit of variety when it comes to the Mark's plastic offerings. The other thing I noticed, I didn't have any of the brown cattle cars. I had the yellow one. You can see it hiding in the back there. But the brown ones I'd taken with me to the show too to see if anybody would be interested in some of those. So let's get on to running some trains. 